Hey everybody, it's Jay, just saying, and on the last episode, uh, you might remember that we went and freed the slaves from, um, the Frost Giant Cave in Worm's Tooth. And you might be wondering what we're doing back here, in Coraline's Tower, uh, of the Sever Severed Hand. Well, if you remember that barrel of pure water that we picked up in there, in the Frost Giant Cave, well, turn it into him right here, and, uh, peace be with you. I see you have returned. Can we help restore your Arbitrarium to its former glory? Uh, or this water might be pure enough for your needs. This water will do nicely. With this, water will once again flow from the Arbitrarium. Your actions have brought beauty here once again. Peace be with you. To you as well. And that gives you 12,000 points of experience each. Or, uh, not each, but to the whole party. So, um... Anyway. Uh, back to the original video. I'm going to get all the way back to Wormstooth now. Hey there, everybody. This is JD. Just saying, and on the last episode, we went and we dealt with all the slaves that were um, involved with Joral, and we helped free them from Joral's evil, sacrificial ways with the uh, Weverns. Um, and on this episode, we're going to be starting Chapter 6, because now that we have both of the badges from... Um, Chapter 5, we can finally head on through this door, which I never actually showed was closed, I don't think. If I did, it was so long ago, probably no one else remembers, because I don't. So, um, of course, if you just watch the videos in order now, you'd still see it. So, anyway, uh, one of the key things that you'll need to know, yeah. I'll explain in a sec. But let's on, head on down in this cave. Leaving the horrors of the Frost Giant Caves behind them the party made their way into the deepest tunnels of the Dwarven complex. In the distance, a bright red glow emanated from the mouth of a large corridor, indicating that they were not alone in the darkness of Lower Dorn's Deep. Of course not, because otherwise this entire chapter would be really boring. But, anyway, alright, so, big thing about this, um, area is that you'll notice Huge vats of molten metal bubbles and hiss overhead. Rust on the sides of the vats indicate that they have been dormant for a long period of time. Even though the lava is still pretty active. Um, in the last level, in the last chapter, it was nothing but ice people, right? Well, in this one, obviously, we're dealing with uh, fire people. At least again. Sounds so, good. if you look around here, you'll notice that there are... Cross Salamanders, and oh goodness, that Tarn Sentry attacked. He saw me. I didn't. I did not know that he could detect me. My hide in the shadow succeeded, though, so I'm very confused. Come, come at me, bro. Ow! Ow! You are hitting. Ow! You are hitting me very, very hard. That was not very nice. So, I'm going to have to heal him now. That was a mistake. That was, that was such a rookie, rookie ch Oh, by the way. Uh, get out of there. Now, now, now you heal. Goodness. Are, are you gonna heal? Are you gonna heal? Are you, are you gonna heal him? Heal him... For the love of bloody chicken salads. Chicken salad should not be bloody. Sounds good. Still waiting. Wait, waiting on you to finally heal him. Thank you. I don't know why. I mean, if you can heal a spy in Team Fortress 2 as the medic while he's invisible, I don't know why you can't heal my mage slash thief slash fighter. Okay, so yeah, I had to change my entire move set to be less uh, how will we say fireball heavy, and now. We're very heavy in the, uh, ice lances. So, um, that's our thing now. Okay, there we go. So, I'm gonna tiptoe this way. Okay. Also, another thing is those stupid sentries, by the way. They're, um, completely immune to slashing damage. So, um, yeah, we will not be attacking them with our swords. Nah, I don't much think as we so. were. Just kidding. I'll do it. 
it's essentially you, you, and you. What? Weapon mm -hmm. ineffective? Oh, we need magic. We need ma magic. Yes. Okay. Fine. Magic missile, then. Jesus, this this is not turning out well. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Good. He attacks. He attacks. I should be swift about he attacks. Oh goodness. Oh gosh, guys. Oh yeah, and by the way, that frost elementor area effect thing, it's not really gone away. Now it's just uh now it's just long distance. Or now it's just uh fire. Ow. That did 20 points of damage, guys. Oh, he is dead. Of course he's dead. He's human, though. Ooh, I can revive him. I can show you revive. Oh, this is good. This is okay. This is fine. Okay, you, you, and you are now just like, you're completely useless, guys. That's so sad, but very true. Um, alright, so, we're gonna show you Ray's Dead. Only works on humans, gnomes, and halflings, I believe. Which is very strange to me. Ow. Um, okay, so, everyone... I attack that one, right. except for you. You go pick up all your stuff. So, you start, when you use Ray's Dead, all your stuff gets dropped. Everything. And all your items have to be re-equipped very, very, very quickly. Or you'll look like a complete, um, idiot. So, I am without weapons for the temporary situation. Oh, goodness. Um, also, my health is completely depleted, and that is bad. So, that being said, I think I'm going to have to stick with bullets for right now. Um, I may have to go back and buy magic weapons because I'm not hitting anything right now. That's not good. That's, that's, a, that's not good. Um, except for you. You. Full up heal him. Understood. Yeah, good. Cap him. Cap him one. Yeah, thank you. Alright, so, we're going to, uh, heal him some more. So, um, I killed Joral in the last episode, I don't think I mentioned that, but a uh, thing to note about that is that he dropped a few things, one of which ready, is, uh, Commander. Joral's axe, which is very nice, um, it would be better if it wasn't slashing since, um, I just realized that we have nothing but slashing people as our main fighters, and that's bad, that's bad. It's not, it's not good for us right now. Um, because that means that we are completely ineffective against, um, against them. Against, against these sentries that we're fighting. So I'm actually having to have him carry around a, a hammer. And he is just walking around with nothing. While he walks around with a hammer and he's having to play the second fight. I'm ready to do adventure. So... We're, uh, we're having an interesting trial run not dying right now. The battle is joined. I shall not fail. But I can show off moves like... Oh, no, 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 no. Attack him. I can show you Ice Lance, which is a very, very strong spell, actually. It's just I've never shown it. Is anyone else gonna, like, attack? I told y'all to attack and nobody turned. If you think that's not gonna be annoying, it, it, it's, it's going to be annoying. Yeah, that's going to accumulate rather quickly and continue to annoy me to no, to no end. Sure. So, we also noticed this, uh, this, this sphere, this sphere, sphere, this, these rodent gnome people, um, yeah, they're just sort of like annoying. So, you know, not a big deal, but not exactly terrible. Also, a thing to note is that uh, these sentries are not nearly as magic resistant as the last group, who were 
very, very magic resistant to anything I cast at them. But these guys, I can just... Oh my I'll goodness, die people. if you make me do any more work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, I've shown so. up Ice Just Spear. I've shown that I need to have non detection on, which is not good because I don't think I have a lot of that. Um, yeah, you need that. You have only have two of those spells. You need to heal him. I need group heal, is what I need. Because if I had group heal, this would not be a problem. Uh, also, like, these guys have nothing to pick up at all. Good. Yeah, see, like, it's just throwing axes and stuff like that. Um. I don't, I don't even know what to say right now. I mean, it's literally, there's not much else to do at this current point, except for just, like, heal them up. So, I guess what I could say is that... Oh, wait. Can I cast non-detection? Oh, yeah, I have non-detection. Ooh. Okay, so this just got... This just got good. Okay, so non-detection... Okay, now let's look around. Good. So non-detection just makes sure that things can't detect you. It's rather self-explanatory. Things that have stuff like, uh, sea invisibility, stuff like that. So, basically, we're going to walk around, and we'll notice that there is a, there's a lot to behold on this thing, so we're probably going to dedicate about two or three, what, two or three episodes on this. Um, I'm just going to see if I can get half of it done, at least tonight, or today. Uh, it's not nighttime at all, it's actually like two o'clock. Uh, in the afternoon, not morning. Okay, so anyway, that was one of the first exits. This is essentially what Worm's Tooth was, where it has a giant, like, first entrance room thing, and then everything else. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I thought that thing saw me. I was like, no, it didn't. That does not make sense. It does not compute. Oh, goodness. I don't think I want to be there yet. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so... These are like the major areas to go off into. Ow, he can just like help. see me, can he? Run away! Oh my goodness. Get healing or something. Okay, so anyway, that's where the next spot will stop that is. So we're gonna I take suppose a quick, I got some time to uh, kill. like I guess nap thingy. So I'll be right back. Alright, so we took a quick nap. Here we go. We head on our way down. We head on across because we're gonna go over here where those guys were. We're going to try and sneak around it so that we can get as many of the salamanders that were over there killed. Um, you, once you cast and eh, shoot Mel's mat and Mel's ass here. Yeah. yeah, now he's dead. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Okay. So. Let's see. Let's head over here first, see what's over here. So I'm gonna send one guy in, I guess. I'll send in the guy with the most health, which is you. Labor calls me. Ow. You just got shot again. Not. There's more. There's more. Sphere. 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 Sphervnebl. Sphervnebblin. Who invented that word? Who said that word needs to be the word? Oh, there's a slave girl. Let's talk to her. Fingla. The deep gnome girl stares at you blankly. She looks unhappy. She is carrying a small bag full of apples and two bottles of wine. She wears a large key around her neck. Hello, little girl. How are you? What is your name? She points to her right forearm, burned into her skin, as the name Fengla. What's wrong? Can't you speak? Fengla opens her mouth. She has no tongue. It appears to have been cut out. 
Uh, I believe this is a good guy speaking, so, uh... Who did that to you? She points to the upper reaches of the palace in the northeastern portion of the cavern. She then points to the brand of a pickaxe on her wrist. Where are you taking that food? Fingla points to a tower in the southeast portion of the cavern and is surrounded by a moat of lava, which is, in turn, surrounded by underdark cattle pens filled with deep known slaves. Hey, honey, could I borrow the key to the watchtower for a little while? Fingla smiles and holds out the key. Thanks, Fingla. So now I think we should be able to. Hey! Har, har, har! We're really good. Oh. Now. 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 We're all getting just like pin cushioned here, guys. And let's see that we can't kill these yeah. guys. So let's go in there. And attack. Steal yourselves! Oh goodness, okay, everyone stop attacking him. It will be done. Get out of there, stop! Stop, okay, you you need to start drinking potions, man. Start start chugging them like they're your life. Which they technically are. Uh everyone else, blast this guy. It's for you. Show me a target, and I'll smash you. Oh goodness, now that guy needs potions. Throw him some potions. And make him stop whining like a, a, I don't know, a diseased dog? I don't know what that sound is. Alright, I think we got him. Alright, good. Good, we got him. There's no way he's gonna beat us now. Exactly. There we go. Now let's see what happens. Fingla shows up. Fingla wanders up to you and shakes your hand vigorously. She smiles up at you for a second, then departs. Farewell, little girl. And Aston Martin leveled up. Good. Nah, I don't think so. So, just let me, uh, clean out this room and then I'll, uh, level him up. So that'll be good. Okay, so things that we got from it. We got this nice new armor for, uh, Dub Steppington to wear. Some full plate mail plus one. Not bad. The big thing, though, is we have now uh, four whole racks of arrows of piercing, which do uh, a good plus four to Thaco, and also plus six physical piercing damage um, whenever it hits against someone. And, you know, they can roll for it and whatnot if they want, but generally it's going to pretty much connect with them. Um, let's restock you guys real quick. Oh my goodness, how are you almost out of arrows when you've been casting spells the entire time? How many shots per round do you do? Number of attacks, four? Good golly! He only does two? I'm doing twice as much with him. That is ridiculous. One attack per round. I'm literally pincushioning people with that guy. He's shooting four and forty arrows in ten rounds. Do I anyway, like so... I don't know what that is, but no, you don't. You look like a... just a character model. Anyway, let's level him up to level ten. He's now gotten six more points to health, more uh, saving throws, and number of attacks goes up. No proficiency slots added, but increased to stealth, which we will go and get another spell for. Ooh, and he goes druid style on it, so he gets a mixture of stuff. Flame blade, not worth it here. Good berries, actually pretty good. Um... Charm person or mammal. No alignment's pretty good. Find traps is okay. Bark skin. Mmm. Armor class plus four. Duh, 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 armor class is eighth and so on. In addition, saving throw rolls against all forms. All attack forms except for magic gain a plus one bonus. That's actually pretty good. But you know how desperate I get for health. Yes. So we're going to take a nap here. I may not rest at this time, apparently. So let's see what's up here. Guys, are we, we going to go up there? Yeah, there, there we go. Thank you. Oh, hey, look. These books look, and these beds look well kept. This would probably be a safe place to rest. Oh, it's a free resting place. Or not, apparently. Nah, I don't think so. Okay, does this room serve a purpose? 
don't think it does. I think it literally has nothing in here worth... There's not even anything to loot. What's the point? Well, that's dumb. I'm sorry. I didn't know what was in this room, but come on. That's kind of stupid. Guys. Guys, really? Come on. Just nice. go down the stairs. Okay. Okay. Now we can leave this. Okay, so now let's go outside. Yeah, I don't think so. Just kidding. Uh, we've leveled up. Ask Martin if people could walk through the door. Thank you. Oh, this video is going to be so bad. Oh, all right. All right. So we should be able to, if we're lucky. Oh, monster awakens you from. Okay, it's only. Goes the play to its what? What? What are you doing there? Thank you. All right. Like I was saying. Thank you. Okay. Oh, all right. So, now that we're progressing onwards, we're going to do one final battle, and then I think we're going to stop for this episode. Because there's not else, there's not much else that we really can do um, without going way over time. Hey! Har, har, har! No, no, come back here. You know what? You know what? I you want to do it. that? I can do that. I can throw up Skull Trap right there. Oh no. Understood. Okay, fine. That's cool with me. Boom, got him. Ready? Hey. Take that. Lay douche. Oh yeah, I also added protection from normal missiles to him so that he would be a little more protected. Uh ice storm right there. Oh, of course he's resistant to it. Because, you know, we'd hate for him not to be. We're gonna do that then. See you, cloud of death. See you protect against that. Huh? Yeah. You got nothing. You got nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stay in your little bubble. Why? What are you doing? Getting out of your bubble. Thank you. Thank you, come again. Yeah. That should be all the sentries. Not all the sal salamanders, but, you know, all the sentries. Oh, poor Sphere Neblin. Sphere Neblin. Uh. Lol? Sure. Okay, so, um, anyway. I'm gonna cast Lightning Bolt at him. See how he does that. Yeah! Ah, oh, dang it, he saved his spell. Okay, so, simply enough, we're just killing off this one little section so that I can get that door, uh, through that doorway. Okay. So, oh, all let's move right. up as a group. Oh no, the Sphere of Neblin died. Poor little Sphere Neblin. Sphere Neblin, whatever your name is. Um, okay, so we're going to have him cast Cone of Cold on that one. You cast uh, Magic Missile on that oh, guy. Yeah, right now. I've got for Everybody attack. No, but it is Kung Fu Fight. Fight. Oh, oh no, Let's what are you doing work. getting in the fray? No, not you. Get on get on out of there. I see. Get on out. Right yes. about now. Okay, so that's good. Mm hmm Um You have no other moves. Okay, so yeah. attack! Alright, good. This fight's over, all right. Good. So, there we go. We got the, uh, 
Well, we wasted a spell, but anyway. Um, okay. We got the bottom half of this map explored, as you can see. In the next episode, we're going to explore the top half and uh, get this all cleared off. So anyway, uh, this is J.D. Smith, just saying. Rate, comment, subscribe, tell me what you like, what you don't like, what you think, what you don't think. If you can't think, how I can better do these LPs and anything else that I'm involved in. But anyway... <laughs>